Hi, Mridu. Uh, these are instructions for balancing the tilt pan head. The first step is, I'll go step by step. The first step is that you mount it either on a tripod or put it on a flat table or something like that. Second step is that you take the quick release plate off the tilt pan head. The third step is put the quick release plate on the camera. The fourth step is put the camera on the quick release plate and keep a pencil or a pen handy. Fifth is find the center of gravity using the pen. Then see which holes below does it correspond to. You will have to fix these knobs on, this, on these holes. You can always tweak the camera balance a little bit by moving it age and piche in this quick release plate and then locking it there. Sixth is that you put the camera on the tilt pan head on those holes which were directly below the center of gravity. Note that the side that the HDMI cable will go in, I have kept away from the tilting part of the tilt pan head. Eighth, you loosen this knob. Quite a bit. Ninth, you take this piece completely off. Tenth, you take this belt off. Step 12 is that within Ellen key, you loosen these knobs slightly and move them slightly up and down to find the perfect point of balance. So by hand you will turn it, you will see uh, where you need to apply least amount of force. That's when it is perfectly in balance. When with like a very little amount of force, you can tilt your camera up and down. So that's what you need to do. And this is a very fine balance. So you'll have to move it very, very little at a time. So if you move it by even half a centimeter, it'll be too much. You'll have to move it literally one millimeter, two millimeter at a time. And find the optimum point of balance here. So with very little force, the camera is now moving. So that puts very little load on the motor. And one more thing of note is that when you leave your camera like this, it should st stay straight. If you had balanced it properly in the uh, aage piche point, your camera will stay straight like this. If you are slightly heavy, then the camera will want to go down like this. Then the motor will have to lift the weight of the camera going up, okay? Step 13, you put the belt back on. And see that it's sitting in the teeth. Step 14, you put this thing back into place. Step 15, you tighten this knob again. What this knob does is it increases the tension on the belt. So you tighten it till this tension, till this becomes taut, till this is not very loose. And then you don't over tighten it. If you over tighten it, you'll be putting too much load on the belt. Right now, this is like a comfortable thing. The belt is not sagging. That's something you can take a call on. And I think we're done. And uh, that's pretty much balancing. You can now connect the motors and you're ready to work.